with like two sticks, we hit for three glocks, them four fifths. He got six rocks and part seven off. He on the block from eight to eight. So what's that? That clock to clock on number nine. I like the toe nine to get in the ring because I. Before Glock Nine would sign a deal with Cash Money Records. Before he would garner over 600k followers on Instagram and more than 80k on SoundCloud at the time of this recording. Before he would rack up millions of views with his songs like Crayola, Grapevine, and 10%, which now has over 21 million views on YouTube. Glock Nine hasn't been rapping for a long time. In fact. His first ever track, Ugly, was dropped in September of 2017 onto SoundCloud. But in that short time, he has garnered the reputation of the next up out of Florida. With his raspy flow, gritty lyrics, and melodic hooks, Glock has become the next in what seems like an endless stream of Florida rappers to flood the internet with SoundCloud raps. But Glock has had a harsh road to fame, being locked up 12 separate times before the age of 18, before realizing he needed to get his life together if he wanted to make any impact with his music. What's up good people out there watching? Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on when you're watching this video. Hope you're having one heck of a day so far. My name is Jeremy Hecht here for you on Before They Were Famous, and someone asked me in the comments how long I'll be calling myself the new guy. And you're right, random person in the comments. I've been doing this for too long, so I'm just gonna say my name. I'm Jeremy Hecht, and today I'll be taking you through the life and career of Glock9 prior to fame. I've covered other newcomers like YNW, Melly, and Comethazine, so be sure to check those out after you finish watching this one if you like it. And as always, be sure to let me know in the comments down below who to cover next. Without any more talking though, let's get to it. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Glock9 was born Jaquavius Denard Smith on May 1st, 2000 in Orlando, Florida. Like I keep saying with every new video about Florida artists, there's gotta be something in the waters out there because every hot new artist has roots in the Sunshine State. Atlanta better watch out because Florida's coming for the throne as a new hip hop hub with almost the entire new generation of rappers blowing up out of Florida. And while Orlando seems like the happiest place on earth when you first think about it, Glock says the Orlando he grew up in was nothing like Disney World. Glock was raised by his mom with his father going in and out of jail throughout his childhood. He also has three brothers, one older brother who stayed with his dad, while Glock grew up with his two little brothers. He says that as a kid, in school he was a class clown, always trying to make the room laugh. Glock Knight started rapping at the young age of nine, writing verses in his notebooks, and like most newer rappers, using beats he found on YouTube. Once the people around him started to hear his potential, they told him that he could actually do something really big with music. But when Glock was just 13 years old, he got locked up for Grand Theft Auto, and not the video game. Although it did seem like he was living out a real life version of GTA, telling Vlad that he got into four high speed chases with police officers after stealing cars and escaping three fourths of them. Not a bad percentage. He said his trouble with the law really started from a love of cars. At eight years old, he would sit at racing games at Chuck E. Cheese and imagine he was driving for real. And shortly after, that transitioned into stealing real cars. The first car he stole was his mom's. His mom threatened to ship him off to live with his auntie in Vegas, but he told her there's no point because he would just be doing the same things down there. And honestly, there's probably a lot more in Vegas to steal than his mom's car. Music helped him stay on the right path though. And when he was 14, he says he was recording raps on an iPod, which I didn't even know you could do, but is a creative way to make music. He converted that to GarageBand, but Glock says he went to a real studio for the first time at 15. He started to perform at local teen parties while he continued to craft his sound and work on his skills. He grew up listening to Lil Wayne, T-Pain, and Plies, and currently likes NBA Youngboy and Kodak Black, who he often gets compared to because of their raspy, raw rapping style, and probably because they're both from Florida too. Don't compare me to him, he likes I mean, I'm doing something right. <laughs> but music didn't completely stop Glock's troubles with the law. When Glock was just 15 years old, he was involved in an accidental shooting case, which was on the local news. And by the time he was 18, he had been locked up 12 times. That's crazy. I think the worst stat I can say about myself at 18 was that I lost 12 NBA 2K championships. I was even up three to one in the finals of an 82 game season of which I had played every single game and I lost. I was up 3-1. I have never played a full season of 2K since. <sighs> it's pretty. I, 
as you can see, my upbringing was much better than Glock's, and, uh, well, 12 losing seasons doesn't really compare to 12 times in jail, so. But while in jail, he wrote some of his biggest hits today, including 10% and Jail Hizzy Blues. I wrote the whole song in jail. I got out, got out for like three months, went back to jail. And I feel like it came back to my head, like, oh, you still got this song in the pocket. How how my songs wrote, I could switch it up to any beat. His mother, again, was not happy with him after getting into all of that trouble. But when he got out of jail, he became serious about rapping, hitting the studio every single day. Growing up, his friends called him Blackie, and he says some of the people who have known him for a long time still call him that. As a white dude, I won't be calling him that. It just feels wrong. But his first rap name was YJB Quay. And he actually has some of his old songs on YouTube titled under that name. I used to always wear some hats and shit from Lil Scully. They used to call it like, that was, that Queen them nine, I already know that nine right now, that's that him. He says after too many people were using the moniker nine on Facebook, he felt like he had to switch it up to be original. His current rap name, however, was inspired by, well, of course, the Glock pistol, but also by local news channel, KFTV Channel 9, on which he has appeared on multiple occasions not all for the most positive reasons, but hey, making the news is making the news. At first, his friends started calling him Lil Nine, but one day when he was on the phone with his boy, his friend told him, your name is Glock now. And when he asked his friend why, he said, because Glocks don't jam. There is no safety on a Glock. I don't know anything about guns, so I'm gonna assume that's true. He told Curated Flame in a text conversation slash interview, lol, cause they say I love Channel 9 and I stay with Glocks, and them 2Ks stand for kill kill, because that's all I know. So there are multiple factors that went into the name, but he ended up sticking with it. He released his first ever track, Ugly, onto SoundCloud in 2017, following it up with Gang Gang, First Day Out, and Roman Numerals. His debut project, Cold Face, Cold Case, was released only a year ago, and since then he has recorded and released an insane amount of music. One of his biggest songs was Jail Hizzy Blues, after putting it out on SoundCloud, someone from the popular blog site Say Cheese heard the song and told him that he needed to get a video out for it fast because of how hard it was. The blog site posted the song and it had 700 comments within a day. So that's what he did. He shot a video for it. And from there, it was really over. He really started to blow up once he started releasing his music as exclusive videos through World Star Hip Hop's YouTube channel. The first video he released on there was Jail Hizzy Blues, which received almost 2 million views within its first eight months. Everything changed after that Jailhouse Blues video. Ain't gonna lie. He actually found the beat for that song on YouTube and recorded the track. Luckily, today his inbox is flooded with beats so he doesn't have to rip songs off of YouTube and do as much searching. He says that he knew the song was different, but he didn't know it was gonna be as big as it got. He released his next project, Blood Shell's Revenge, in April of 2018, which had double the amount of songs as his previous effort, and included the single, I Don't Need No Help, with the accompanying video receiving more than three million views on YouTube. He followed that up with Loyalty Kill Love in July, and Lil Glock That Stole Christmas in December. Even though he hasn't been rapping for that long, the amount of work that he's flooded the market with is pretty incredible. At the time of this recording, he has released more than 80 songs onto his SoundCloud alone. That makes Future and Young Thug's output look low, which is hard to do. Drop three mixtapes in eight months, what do work in as hard as him? Cardi reference. Sorry. On Wednesday, October 3rd, 2018, Glock 9 was arrested on multiple charges that included weapon possession, third degree grand theft auto, and the possession of more than 20 grams of weed. Apparently he had 27 grams in his underwear alone. And that's a lot of weed to hide. According to the report by Orlando Police Department, Glock was drag racing his Dodge Challenger with someone else who was driving the same type of car at speeds up to 100 miles per hour at around 1 a.m. at night. Reminds me of when Justin Bieber got arrested for a similar thing back in the day. That wasn't his only run-in with the cops though. Back in February of last year, the Orlando Police Department launched an official investigation into an Orlando police officer who appeared in the music video for Glock 9's Armed and Dangerous, racking up another appearance on Channel 9 for Young Glock. The Orlando police chief stated, it's a situation where it's out in the public so anyone can take pictures or video of our officers. But because of that video and because of the circumstances surrounding the video, I just want an internal investigation to see if any policies were violated. The police chief wasn't sure whether or not the officer knew his image and likeness were gonna be used, but either way, the cop is still on duty. 
Plus, even though there were drugs and weapons in the video, he clearly posted a disclaimer about how it was all just props. Similar to what Slim Jesus did back in the day. Hey, you gotta be careful out here online. In this era, Instagram can actually get you in trouble with the law. Speaking of getting in trouble online, he did get into some controversy after he said in an interview with Vlad TV that he wanted to marry a lighter skinned girl because he didn't want his baby to be as dark skinned as him. I see what he might have been trying to say, but I don't know, I'm not gonna agree with that one. And I can also completely understand why people were upset with his comments. On August 5th, XXL reported that Glock9 signed a deal with Cash Money Records worth $2 million. I said the same thing about Blueface, but I'm still unsure why you would choose to sign with Cash Money in 2018. And like Blueface found out in a recent interview, you're really signed to more than just cash money, you're signed to about four labels. CMRG slash AFNF Cash Money Republic Records New Artist, Yes Sir, is what he posted in a caption announcing the signing. In a text interview with Curated Flame and one of his only interviews online, Glock said that in the future, you can expect from him a whole lot of bucks, no Milwaukee, so tell the people, fear the deer. The dude is pretty funny. As for the rest of the story though, well you know the story because this is before they were famous. I'm Jeremy Hecht, follow me on Instagram at Jeremy underscore Hecht, and let me know who I should do next for this channel. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video, dream good, live better, and I hope you have one hecht of a day.